Engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying a gamma ray telescope searching for unseen physics in the stars of the galaxies. The Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope is a collaboration between the Department of Energy and, uh, and NASA, as well as several international partnerships that have allowed us to take a particle detector that usually would be wrapped around the beam line of a particle accelerator, unfurl it, unfold it, lay it out flat, and send it into orbit so we can detect celestial particle accelerators. By detecting celestial particle accelerators, we can see some of the most exotic sources in the universe. It's this new window on the sky, this new window of gamma rays that Fermi has opened up in a really unique way, which is allowing us as physicists to extend our vision of the universe to new realms. Fermi is designed to find the directions and measure the energies of ultra high energy gamma rays. Gamma rays can't be focused. And so Fermi is essentially a giant block, giant being about a human size or small car size block of material that's instrumented to track the trajectory of particles produced by high energy gamma rays when it collides with it. So the Hubble Space Telescope is of course very famous and enormously productive. Hubble has one of the great virtues that it produces beautiful pictures, beautiful sharp images. One of the great challenges of gamma rays is that focusing is simply not possible. When you get a gamma ray, it crashes right through any apparatus you build. And so what you do is you track it instead of focus it. In turn, that means it's very difficult to make high resolution pictures. Now, Fermi has pushed that tracking technology to a new level, and we have the sharpest gamma ray images ever of the sky, allowing us to see appreciable structure in the universe. But I think its real prowess is not the pictures, but the physics that comes out. It's the physics of the extreme, the physics of the exotic. And I think it does have an appeal to the public it's probably one of the better signposts for kids to what's exotic in the universe. So in addition to the, the deep understanding that we try to gain as physicists from these objects, we need to share the excitement that this is the extreme, dynamic, violent universe that we're studying with Fermi, and therefore push our understanding of the extreme universe.